Has there ever been a time as a collector when you're collecting a certain line or a video game or hot toys, whatever the case may be, and you finally hit that financial wall where you cannot justify spending hundreds or thousands of dollars to complete that certain line? Or maybe you even thought about giving up collecting altogether because it's just so freaking expensive, which it is. That's exactly where I am at right now. I am trying to complete my vintage TMNT collection and I am at the point where there's nothing really common left and all the pieces and figures that I need range anywhere from $100 all the way into the thousands and I just can't justify spending my own money to do that. But we do have a solution. Welcome to the Action Figure Challenge. That's right, the Action Figure Challenge. This is a new series that I'm doing on my channel. I want you guys to come along with me to help complete my TMNT Vintage Collection because I need some help and I don't have all the monies to do that, but I do have an idea how we can get there. I really got inspired to take on this challenge because my buddy Retro Rick, all of his info will be down below, check him out. But he did a challenge called the $10 video game challenge where he started with a $10 bill and he amassed a huge video game collection. And I was like, you know what? That could probably work for me for my Ninja Turtles, but I want to do something a little different. So Rick started off with a $10 bill. I'm going to be a little more aggressive because these pieces that I need to finish my collection, like I said earlier, they range anywhere from a hundred way into the thousands. So we're going to get a little crazy, a little insane. I'm going to do, I'm going to sell a high piece item in my collection to get the budget going to do this. If I started with $10, this would take forever for what I am needing. So like I said, we're going to get a little aggressive and I already started the process. So I'm posting up this Marvel Legends Sentinel. I actually already sold it because I wanted to get ahead on this challenge and have some money to buy what I need for my collection. So we sold this for $239.99 on eBay. After all the fees, we are left with $192. We now have $192 to invest into this challenge. So we're gonna take that. We are gonna go to thrift stores. We're gonna go to antique malls. We're gonna go to garage sales. Whatever we need to do to buy something and turn it for a profit. So it could be video games, it could be toys, it could be uh, DVDs, it could be VHS, whatever it is, we are going to buy and we are gonna sell on eBay, on Macari, on whatnot, uh, maybe some toy shows. I'm doing anything and everything I can to make sure that we can get this stuff sold and get more money to get more TMNT goodness. So I know that this works and I want to prove it to you guys because you can do the same thing as well. It doesn't take a lot to get going. You're just gonna have to put in the footwork and make it all happen. So our first stop, we are going to a brand new antique mall. This is around, I don't know, 10 miles from my house. I've never been to it before. So fingers crossed, we have $192. Let's see what we can find. Got this Technodrome 300. Got a pizza thrower for 36. Sewer place for 200. And then we have a bunch of Ghostbusters, uh, Police Academy, an Ecto 1. Was that 115? And then we got what is this 3250. Of these some weapons on there though. Super Nintendo, or N64 controller. Very cool to see, but a little out of my price range. But it is 15% off. Found this Ninja Turtles Tricks and Treats book. 
for $4. I'm going to pass on that. Here's some older, like, comic books. Blondie. Heckle and Jekyll. Stay poofed. Got some Phantom Menace figures in here. There's Qui-Gon. And then another Qui-Gon over there. Ooh, here's some VHS over here. Not really seeing anything on this room that, that I need. Let's look down here. Okay, Land Before Time, Tom and Jerry, Nobelina. Beep. And then up here we got some DVDs. It's pretty cool. Optimus. I don't know what this is. What does this say? Just Optimus, 25 bucks. Not sure if that's a, a knockoff or what, but they got it. What else is over here? Corona. Got some Corona. I got this little vintage ceramic snowman. Pretty dope. And then some pixel pouts and some pops. They have this Golden Dream Barbie fashion doll case for you uh, Barbie collectors out there. I found a narc. Little vintage Mickey Mouse plushie right there. Got some pogs down here. I'm going to try to get poison. Wild card. I don't know, there's just so many. Oops. Spill a gnome, spill a gnome. There was some really cool stuff at that antique mall. Most of it was overpriced, like you could see, but they had some vintage toys and some turtles, which was great. But I ended up picking up that bag of real Ghostbusters, the Super Fright features. So it had a few of those complete. I know that a full set of those, they can sell anywhere between $140 to $150. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. It was $32.50 with 15% off, so we spent a total of $29.50. $29 I also know of another place that has maybe the rest of these figures fairly cheap, so we're going to take this to Retro Madness in Fort Worth. Fingers crossed that they got something. Let's check it out. Okay, so for the Ghostbusters, I was needing, or I am needing, this bright feature, Janine. And she is $7. So I am definitely going to do that. The trip to Retro Madness was a success. We ended up getting that Janine for $7. So right now we're at a total of let's just say $37 spent. And she is now complete as well as the other three. And while I was digging in my garage for something else, I actually found this Winston figure. So Winston is now complete as well. And we spent $0 on that. So all we need is that Egon to complete this entire set. But we're going to put that on the back burner for right now because something happened that doesn't normally happen. And uh, my mind was kind of blown, but my boy, Richie, he sent me a message and was like, dude, look what I found on the side of the road. And I was like, holy moly. So this is what he found. All right, so I'm with my boy, Richie, the toy creeper. <laughs> you need to revise that. No, man. I love you, it. You I to, love it. You need it's to do that again. Until the day I die. Toy creeper. <laughs> so anyway, he brought over some stuff that he found i'm gonna let him explain the story to you guys because it's kind of mind-blowing so how this happened was i was hungry decided to get the kiddo and me something to eat and uh it's late at night so i come home coming home from Wingstop in my neighborhood something with rich people that live there so at the corner of my eye i saw a drum kit and i was like what and i slammed on the bait the brakes and reversed next thing you know i find 
this Xbox One drum kit just thrown out to the curb with these three, well, one Xbox One uh, rock band guitars and 360 rock band guitars. And they're new. They were hardly ever used. They are in good condition. Um, so hopefully Kreger can uh, clean these up and go from there. But yeah, one man's junk's another man's treasure. And that's the truth 100% of the time. So. That is. So what price did we end up uh, agreeing on for this uh, set right here? So since it was thrown out, I agreed on 120. 120. 120 it was a good deal for me just picking it up and bringing it to Craig so that's right so you never know always look on the side of the road because you could find the entire Xbox One Guitar Hero kit that Guitar Hero and Rock Band set that is crazy like you heard I spent a hundred twenty dollars $120 for all of that. So you guys might think that's junk, but this stuff right now is selling like hotcakes. For example, this Jaguar guitar, it can sell anywhere between like $130 to $150. That is crazy. So that itself, if that sells, that pays for that entire lot. And I am, I am done. The rest is profit for the turtles. This drum set usually sells around 200 to 300 dollars and the cymbal set that is attached that usually goes for about 150 to 200 dollars just depending. This cymbal kit is in pretty rough shape so I might be able to get maybe a hundred out of it but I tested every single item that I bought and it all works. A little recap of what we have remaining in the action figure challenge budget. We have a total of $35.50. So that's, uh, that's, that's great. We have $35.50 to buy something turtle related or to buy something else to get something uh, massive, right? Massive for the collection. But the great news is I still have all of this Guitar Hero and Rock Band stuff to sell. So I am going to list this and in the next video i'm going to show you if we sell anything i hope we do i think we will and i think it's going to blow your mind because i am super excited to see what happens from here we really couldn't have planned a, a better first episode in my opinion we got some great product and uh, i can't wait for the next one to show you what's going to happen from here guys thank you for watching so much and uh i want you to let me know down below is this something you ever considered doing uh why or why not i would love to know i'd love to hear everybody's opinions on this but remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content and the next two videos we will be at retro uh expo the retro expo in plano texas uh lots of great guests and tons of toys so that will be in two videos so stay tuned for that and guys until the next time peace all right chief what can we do on this, man? What do we got on? We got two bills. Two hundred? Two bills. Not another veteran channel. Welcome to the action figure challenge number two. Today, guys, we are headed to the Retro Toy Con in Plano, Texas. And holy moly, was this con loaded. Before we get to the action figure challenge number two, we we're gonna go over what happened in the last episode. We ended episode one at $35.50 left in our action figure challenge bucket. So we have that, but some things have uh, sold that we purchased in the last episode. So let's take a look at that. So guys, when I tell you, look out for Guitar Hero stuff, look out for it, because this stuff sold pretty fast. So as you can see, the Jaguar guitar, it sold for $149.99, like, just like that, overnight almost. 
And then we have the Stratocaster rock band guitar and that sold for $39.99. And then the cymbal set, just the cymbal set by itself ended up selling for $149.99. We are left with 307 and some change and that includes the 3550 from last episode. So now we have a good amount to hopefully find some TMNT goodness at this show. So let's see what we can find. This is way out of the uh, challenge budget, but I do not believe I've seen this in a while. This is the Mantad Missions uh, from Konami on the PC. $1,000, but that is super, super rare. Very cool. But since he just uh, shot himself because <laughs> he saw some Tron figs. Yes. So these, did you collect these when? Yes, in I your did. Earlier days? I had Sark, I did not have that guy, and I had uh, Flynn. Um, but I've been wanting to find the figures and the light cycles. Okay. The light cycles are what I'm really looking for. I mean, is that a good price for those? I, I yes, don't know. that's a good price. And they look really good. Yeah, they do. Not much paint on Yeah. <laughs> Looks like candy. <laughs> you do it. Yeah, it's so clean. Yeah. The Sark looks good. I also had this car. I have not seen this in decades. Since 1987. <laughs> I had what it as a kid. 79. 79. Yeah. For you, huh? Yeah. That's cool. That's really freaking awesome. Yeah. Uh, large. Okay, large. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Is there anything on the back? No. It's no? Not That's so cool. So cool. Thank you. Okay, Very cool. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all this bootleg goodness. All these Boba Fetts. Or Mandalorians. Oh, that is very cool. Very cool. Nice. Look at that Mortal Kombat, Sub-Zero, oh my gosh, look at those Ghostbusters, that's beautiful, very cool. And then over here, wow, check these out, then we got some ammo, very good. We have some card at Turtles over here. 25? Why is it 25? Let's see why it's 25. This is... Oh, it's a re reissue. Reissue. I got fooled for a second. Look at these loose ones. Look at that chrome dome. That is super shiny. With the Ninja News Cycle in box. Got some more figures down here. Lucy's. Dude, that's not a bad price on that scarecrow up there. Right there. The vintage. Oh, yeah. 150 Damn. It's a repro weapon, but still. Not bad. We have all of these over here. Get the best card. Are there any motus you still need? There is. I need like the harder ones to find, like twist void and oh yeah, the spinny ones. Yep. <laughs> Bunch of this down here too. I didn't know Ninja had soft goods. Yes, sir. Hmm. We got some stone protectors in box. Bow and surf attack scooter. That's pretty sick. We got some carded ones over here. Sports villains. 
tackle jack. Oh, there's Rube. Oh, there's Rube. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> there's Ruby. He just got a haircut today. Yeah, and I just got here. What's up, buddy? What's going on? How's it going, man? Mr. Right. Cincy. Did you bring uh, the bag of hair for, <laughs> for Cincy? I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of, kind of let down, start man. Just like gluing it on there. <laughs> I didn't really cut it. It's just the sides and just, just the fade. And that's it. That's okay, it. that's enough for me. I could have made a mohawk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over here we have Stephen Amell and Megan Fox autographed Casey Jones mask to Hundo from uh, Out of the Shadows. That's pretty sweet. It kind of looks like Storm. It does. We could do that Especially to Storm. Especially with the teeth. We could do that to Storm. We could turn them into a... Uh, my pet monster with a teeth like that? And Dude, everything? That'd be awesome. Should we do it? Yeah. 100%. Comment if, if you comment on this, if we should take our dog, it's mine and Craig's love dog, take our dog and do that too. I will do it. That'd be amazing. Those. Are these the... Um, Food Fighters? Well, yeah, but is this the American version? I don't think so. I remember this is a white cookie. Yeah. I've never seen the chocolate cookie. And... I've never seen that color yeah, cone know that for uh, ice cream. Wow. Look at these. Look at these. Wow. That's awesome. Excuse me, I'm selling all the sex cards. Look at all these printed turtles over here. Uh oh. Holly Pocket. Oh my gosh. I think we have to get those for someone. Uh, That's just going to go in the closet and have to sell for them. Probably in the closet. Yep. You know. You know how it goes. Got these homers. Which one would you get? Uh, I would actually get that one. Just right now? Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Then we got a bunch of cocks. Those are amazing. Realm of the Underworld. Those are sick. Love that. Since it just took off. <laughs> got some pretty solid turtles. Here. Look at that. Look at that one too. Got some bangers. bangers, bangers. All those are complete. I just have the weapon. Awesome. Got some toxic crusaders. Ooh, look at that part of toxic. That is sick. And I got some over here. Look at these carded universal monsters. Seventy-five, one hundred and sixty, one hundred and ten. Not bad at all. Check out this copter. It is forty. You don't start attacking. Not too bad. We got the tub, sewer boats, copter. Forty dollars isn't too bad for this. Nothing. Yeah, get for it. It's a copter, dude. I have 40 on it. The action's not working and it's a little incomplete, but I'm gonna see what kind of deal I can get. Yeah. Is your table? What? Is this your table? Yeah. Do you do three? Okay. Oh, he's pulling out the wallet. He's pulling out the wallet. Yep. Alright, got it. Nice. Thirty-five dollar hairs. Nice. Not too bad. Needs a little TLC and some weapons, but a lot of TLC. Not pretty that pretty good. I can find some. Yeah, I can find some.
so this is really cool. This Donkey Kong plush. I don't have this one. How much is it? 20. That's not too bad. And then look at these cards. So they have this Leonardo in Nightlight. I don't have this one. And they're only asking three dollars. So I'm probably gonna pick this up. Pretty sweet. Check out this Batman Mega Drive. That is pretty sick. Don't see that very often. Or at all. Okay, so for the action figure challenge, we have a total of $307. This Channel 6 news van, I do not have. He's got 200 on it. It is the shell, but it is pretty nice on the inside. So I'm gonna get with Chief and see uh, what kind of price we can work out. Get it. All right, Chief, what can we do on this, man? What do we got on? We got two bills. 200? Two bills. Tell you what, feeling really good today. Really good? Because That's I'm good. surrounded by awesome people, friends. That's true. You're here. That's right. My day's a lot better. <laughs> Kingsley's here. Kingsley's so, here. He's here. He's my employee for today. I'm uh, employee Kingsley today. <laughs> 200? How's uh, 100 sound for you? 100 sounds great. Dude, you're the man. Thank you so much. Not a problem, my friend. Awesome. We are back from the show. And like I said, this show was incredible. This was my first time going. And I believe there's a next one coming in March of 2022 at the same place. So stay tuned for that. So we got some pretty crazy deals. I am still floored that I got that Channel 6 news van for only $100. So Chief... Thank you so much, man. I, you didn't even know I was doing this challenge and you hooked a brother up anyway. So thank you so much. Now we have to complete the Channel 6 news van, which is a challenge in itself. But I can't believe I got this holy grail pretty much marked off my list. Like I said, we need more parts and pieces. Uh, I'm gonna be looking for those. And then we also got the turtle copter. I ended up getting this for $35. Uh, the action does not work and I need a few more parts, but I'm gonna be on the lookout for those as well. And then I got this Leonardo Nightlight. I have the Donatello one, but this for $3, I was like, why not? Let's do it. Leonardo is my favorite character anyway, so I, I need to add them to the collection. So $3 out of the budget. So a grand total of what we are looking at now, it was, we started the day with $307 and we spent a total of $138. So here is your new total that's in the challenge bucket. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend maybe a little bit of that trying to complete some of the news van and the turtle copter and the rest, we are just gonna go ahead and uh, buy more stuff to flip to keep this train going because we are doing very, very well, way better than I uh, initially thought we would do, but this is blowing my mind and it's already paying off as you can see. Also, I got these amazing t-shirts. I got this turtle shirt and I also got these two Masters of the Universe shirts from Jorge, check him out. Jorge, if you're watching, thank you again, buddy. Uh, he has a Facebook page. I'm gonna leave his info down below. Jorge gifted me the He-Man shirt and I had to buy this one, of course, and I had to get a Skeletor to go with my He-Man. 
Also want to say a big thank you to Cincy Nerd and Rube DeGreat for coming along with me. It was a lot of fun. Their info will be down below as well. Make sure you're following them. They're, they put out some really great content and they are amazing guys. So guys, that will do it for this video. I am very happy where we're at right now. I'm through the roof. It was a great show. It was great seeing everybody. And we got some great toys. Great, great, great. I would say that the Retro Toy Con is one of the better toy shows in the area. So if you love action figures and they have some video games too, check them out next time. Great show. And guys, until the next time, we'll see you later. Peace. Welcome to the action figure challenge number three. All right guys, so if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. But if you do not know what the action figure challenge is, let me quickly go over it. When we started two episodes ago, I started with one item in my collection. I sold that because my end game, my goal is to complete my vintage TMNT collection. There are some high price items that I still need to get. There, we, we got a long ways to go, guys, but we've been doing fantastic. The last episode, we ended with a total budget of $169.48. We've been doing amazing. It's been going great, way better than I could have expected because we've been getting some amazing deals and finding some great things to flip to complete this TMNT collection. Like I said earlier, we have $169.48 in the budget, but since then we have sold a few more things. So let's go over that right quick. If you guys remember, I got that huge rock band collection and I sold off uh, most of it, but I finished selling the rest of the items. So we sold that drum set for a total of $219.99. We sold the other guitar for $32.99 and we sold the extra foot pedal we had for $16.99. We sold everything we had in that original rock band collection. So everything is sold. So here are the new numbers. Fees and everything taken out plus the $169.48, we are at a total of $385.46. That's what we have to work with. I am super excited because I didn't think we we're gonna sell through that stuff super fast. I mean, not this fast, not in like two weeks, but we, we are doing it, we're rocking and rolling. So let's go hit up some thrift stores and try to get some more products to add to our fund. Jetsons the movie. This was a pretty good flick back in the day. And it's in there. Jetsons! Okay, so we've got some games over here. Madden 17, 15, NHL. We got a Wii Fit. What is this, Nickelodeon? Hmm. Wii Music. Barbie. FIFA, Guitar Hero on the Wii. I'll probably use this with one of my uh, guitars that I had for this. What else do we have down here? Ooh, Turtles. Cowabunga Classics. All day with no desk. No desk. Go figure. What else do we have down here? Ninja Turtles Movie. We do have a Xbox San Andreas in here. But it's a $6. I don't know about that. 
found this Trivial Pursuit Star Wars Saga Edition. I think this sells for like 20 bucks. I'm gonna see how much this is. All right, we got some games over here. A bunch of Connect. A bunch of Connect and Tiger Woods. What else do we have? Let's see. Oh, this is cool. Come on, collect your set. Calling all trainers! Pokemon is taking the world by storm! But our quest to become Pokemon Masters has just begun! Okay, so all VHS for 25 cents. Okay. Three Caballeros. 25 cents is not bad, though. Let's see what's something. Spirit of the game. Yeah. Okay, over here. The Rat King figure. $1.50. Yep. I think I'm going to pick that up. We are back from the thrift stores, and as you can see, I got a few pickups. There wasn't anything too great. I'm probably going to lot together those VHS, and I'll probably hang on to that Rat King because I got it for $1.50. But we spent a total of $3.52, so that's not bad at all. So, since we didn't have the best luck there, we are going to try a new antique mall. It's about 45 minutes away. It's in South Fort Worth. If you're familiar with the area, it's in Benbrook, Texas. So we're gonna go there and cross our fingers that we find something good. Space Jam action figure here for twenty-three dollars though. And right here, we have yeah, arms two thousand X twelve dollars. It's not too bad. Not too bad. No accessory though. We got some lunch boxes over here. We got this Looney Tunes one. Let's see. Asking fourteen dollars. Then we got some poops right here, and some more. Oh, look at that M and M everywhere. M and M's. If you collect M and M's, it should be pretty easy for you guys, because there's a ton of it out there. Look at these. Oh, look at that. Check out this bank. Twenty five dollars. What year is that? Oh, 2013. A little newer. And over here, we got some Hot Wheels, some Infinity figures. And then some of those uh, Hasbro White Titan figures up there. And there's some Lego. Okay, so all these are 10% off, except if it's firm. Got some VHS over here. Nothing that I really need. Look at that. Star Trek Phoenix Worship. 60 bucks. This is pretty cool right here. Titan 3. Law. Card is in like really good shape. Very cool. Alright, so we have a ton of Kenner Batman here, and I mean a ton. They all look pretty complete. And they're ranging anywhere from like, what was that, 12 to like 16, 15, 16, something like that. But there's a, a ton of these guys. There's a ton. And then down here, we got the Batman Forever with the Batwing right there. And we have this one too, Batmobile. That's cool. And then the Legends one. That's pretty sick. So I wasn't expecting to see this, but this is a uh, metal band. One of my favorite metal bands, Norma Jean. And they have it in here for $34. It's a small, but it's very cool to see because you just don't see stuff like that in here. There's a bunch of cool stuff in here. Got that Mikey Pop already. 
Yabba Dabba Doo Fred. Got a Homer Simpson up there. Here's more Kenner. Batman. Got some vintage collection Star Wars. Bunch of VHS. Got a few more down here. Tons of Hot Wheels. Got some Joes. Very cool. Lots of cool stuff in this. Then check this booth out. It's nothing but toys. Oh, look at that burn in statue. That's sick. But everything is 25% off. And you got a little bit of everything in this one. We got some comics too. We got some Transformers, some G1s, or G2. So much. There's a signed Star Wars print right there. And then we got some X Men figures. More track. And more track. They're everywhere. This place is loaded. And over here we have some Hot Wheels and some McFarland stuff. There's some pops. More pops. So there's a lot of figures in here too. Tons. A lot of Batman. Santi <laughs> Ball. There's I've never seen so much Batman. There's a lot of soups in there. There's some more Kinder Batman up there. And there's some Star Wars. Oh, there's a Slave One. There's a few Slave Ones. That will fit me. Almost 55. Look, that, that, that will fit me, I mm -hmm. think. That's cool. And in here we got some more vintage Star Wars. And then we got some Motu down here. Wow, lots of stuff. We got quite a bit of games up here. I wanna check some of these out. <laughs> okay, so we have a bunch of VHS over here. I'm trying to see if there's anything that's just sticking out that I have to have or that we could use on the challenge. But so far, nothing too crazy to see. And that is really cool. The headquarters. Look at those colors. Woo. And we are back from that antique mall and they had tons of stuff, as you could see. It was really hard making up my mind what I wanted to pick up, but I ended up getting that Tekken 3 on card a law figure so law for 35 dollars so he sells anywhere between like 40 to 45 but why i picked him up is because they had an extra 21 percent off so it's even cheaper than that and i'll show you the totals here in a second and then last but not least i ended up picking up that man in arms 2000x figure i do believe i can find the accessories fairly easily so if we find those uh, we're looking at a 30 to $35 figure right there. So in my opinion, we did great and we saw some great vintage goodness. And uh, I love visiting new places. So check out that antique mall if you're in the area. Very cool to see, they have some great pieces. And one more thing to add to this, I spent another $10 with my buddy, Dan. Amazing dude, he loves turtles, he's a shellhead. Uh, check him out, follow him. But he hooked me up with a, a lot of the pieces that I needed for the turtle copter from the last episode. And I got all of these pieces for only $10. But if you are watching, thank you so much. Much appreciated. So what we are left with in our current budget is $331.35. I think we are doing pretty well. Unfortunately, uh, you're not going to go out every time and find gold. That's just the grind of this process. It does take some footwork. It takes patience and you gotta kinda know what you're looking for. So don't give up. 
I'm not going to give up. You guys don't give up. Guys, let me know down below if you are enjoying this series. I'm having a freaking blast. It's been a lot of fun uh, just kind of tracking everything and seeing how my collection is growing in the process. I've gotten some great pieces that uh, I didn't think I was going to get uh, this fast. So guys, that will do it for this episode. Thank you so much for coming along and joining. And until next time, I will see you. Peace. You will not believe what we find in this episode. It is the biggest find on the action figure challenge and maybe the second biggest find on my channel alone. Stay tuned. Hey guys welcome to the action figure challenge episode four guys this episode is going to blow your mind so in this episode this is the type of hunt that everybody dreams of as a toy hunter or a collector and guys it's insane i still cannot believe that this happened and that we found this stuff before we get to that we have a crazy crazy pickup that happened last week on the uh, selling platform called Macari. Yes, you can still find grails and deals on other platforms. You don't necessarily have to go out and hunt, but you can still find great items. So let's see what we got. So this is really kind of a funny story, but I was on Macari last week or a week before last, and I saw a lot of for extreme dinosaurs. The extreme dinosaurs is kind of like the cousin of uh, the vintage street sharks. They go hand in hand, but they're dinosaurs. I'm checking out this lot of four on Macari, and then I notice that I recognize the seller. So the seller is a YouTube group. They're called Rally Roots, and they actually uh, teach people how to resell. So. They, their channel is great. I am actually subscribed and I enjoy their content. I just really thought this was funny how this all worked out in the end. I'm looking at this lot of four. They're asking $52. And what's cool about Macari, you can you can like throw in a offer and sometimes people accept the offer and sometimes they don't. But I went ahead and offered $46 for four of these extreme dinosaurs. And then next thing I know it, they accepted the offer. Fast forward a week later, I receive the lot of four extreme dinosaurs here and I'm going through them and I notice, holy crap, like one of these is a Avon exclusive extreme dinosaurs T-bone. I am flipping out right now because I'm looking at the sold listings for this Avon exclusive T-bone and he is no joke. He sells for $200 plus, $200 plus I paid $46 for this lot and I was flipping out. I was doing a whatnot auction uh, the next day. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna try my luck. I'm gonna put those dinos in my auction and see what happens. So the first two dinos, they ended up selling between uh, $20 to $25. So at that point, I already got my money back, which was great. And then the last item of the night, I put up the uh, exclusive T-Bone and that dinosaur sold for $145 guys, $145. So I'm sharing this information with you because one, we're going to deduct the $46 from our, um, from our budget. So we are now sitting at $198, but also we are adding the sales of all three of those dinos in right now so here is our new total let's go ahead and get into this hunt guys when i say that this is going to blow your mind it's going to blow your mind
And we are back from that antique mall. And like you guys just saw, we picked up all of that stuff. If you noticed when we entered the room, there's that sign that said everything is 20% off. And most of these action figures were priced at $1.50. So most of these we got for $1.20 a piece, which is mind blowing. We got vintage Star Wars. We got vintage Indiana Jones. We got a uh, vintage Tron. We have a uh, vintage 12 inch uh, Star Wars. And the list goes on. It is crazy. I still have goosebumps because finds like this um, don't come very often and especially at 20% off of $1.50. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a look at all the pickups and show you guys in a little more detail. Let's see. Starting off up here, we got a Mars Attacks action figure. Um, he was priced at $1.50. We got a 88 Hardhead Donatello. Still great for, you know, $1.20 after the discount. We have a 2003 uh, skateboard for Raph, Raph skateboard. That is pretty sick. We got another 2003 uh, Donnie, astronaut Donnie right here, or this might be deep dive in Donnie. Maybe, either one, got them. And then we got, uh, what's this dude? Croc, uh, Killer Croc from Batman the Animated Series. And he was uh, $1.20 as well. And this is a villain from the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger line right here. Still has his eyeballs intact, so that's pretty sweet. So this is a robotics action figure. It is either 1983 or 1984, but he is super clean. And then we got uh, Dr. Dr. Starts with a D. Dr. D from Swamp Thing. So we got this guy, pretty sweet. And then things get a little crazy. So this is a Robert, was it Robert Cobb? I'm not too sure, but it does have some paint issues on there, but still a cool little KO. I do need to change the battery. Then we got a Toy Biz. I believe this is a 10 inch beast and he's in great condition. And this is when things get a little crazy. We got the vintage Star Wars 12 inch C-3PO. And he was marked at, what was it? I think he was 25 and came out to like 21 or 22. But if you guys know what this guy retails at, that's a stupid deal. And check out this Boba Fett. It has his rangefinder and it also has his jetpack. So this guy is, is a huge find. He was also uh, 22 or $23. Then we go down here. We got some pretty common vintage Star Wars. These two at least. We got the Hoth soldier or uh, trooper and we got Lando. And then this guy, this is from Indiana Jones. I think this is Raiders of the Lost Ark, but this is Indy disguised in a German outfit. So he was also $1.50, which with the sale was $1.20. If he can just stand up. Okay, sit down. And these next two are insane. So we have Vintage Star Wars, The Last 17 Lando. He was $1.50. With a discount, we paid $1.20. So this and this guy, biggest pickups of the day. Um, this is Star Wars uh, Power of the Force, last 17 as well, the A-Wing pilot. This is a very uncommon figure and he was the same price. I paid $1.20 for both of those guys. So check out this haul. I am still in shock that we got all of this for $80. Freaking insane. All right, guys. So how do you think we did in this episode? I think we broke, we broke the scale because what's sitting on this table, like I said earlier, I spent, it was $83 total. 
I haven't officially gone through each and every action figure to see what the um, secondary market is going on these guys. But if I were to guess, I'm, I'm looking around seven or eight hundred dollars. Seven or eight hundred dollars worth of product for the action figure challenge. That is bonkers. So like I said, the two last 17 Star Wars figures, uh, Lando can sell anywhere from like 100 to 150. The A-Wing pilot prices are everywhere. And obviously he doesn't have any weapons, but I've seen the figure alone sell up to $250. But like I said, you, you never know. The Bobo Fat with his jetpack can easily sell for 150 to 200. C-3PO, we're looking at 70 to 80. And the rest of the figures, I mean, I'm gonna say maybe 100 for the rest. Also, there is that Indiana Jones uh, in the German costume. He can definitely fetch anywhere from 70 to $80 as well. So guys, this was a crazy hunt. There's stuff still out there. There's stuff that you can still find on these other selling platforms like I found with the Extreme Dinosaur. It's crazy, guys. If I can do it, you guys can do it too. So let me know down below, guys, what blew your mind in this hunt? Which action figure would you absolutely just lose it over? I'm very curious to know. And guys, thank you so much for the support. And I will see you next time. Peace! What's going on guys and welcome to the action figure challenge. Not another veteran channel. This video is sponsored by the Retro Expo here in Plano, Texas. Check them out March 18th and 19th here in Plano, Texas. There's gonna be some great guests. We got Jason, David Franks. We got some of the cast from Back to the Future, Land of the Lost. I will be there, I will have a table, so come and hang out. I went this past, it was either October or November, and it was a great, great freaking vintage toy show. Over 35,000 square feet of nothing but toys. So we hope to see you there. We have some great pickups in today's video. It's been a month since we've done an action figure challenge. There's a couple reasons why. One, I was on vacation. It was a holidays. I broke my tailbone. All right, let's go guys. <laughs> that was pretty, uh, pretty crappy. Uh, I'm still feeling the effects of that, if you can imagine. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get on to the pickups. In the last episode, this is what we have remaining in our action figure challenge bucket. There hasn't really been a lot of deals out there either. Like I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace, on Facebook, on um, just around in my area in general. There's no garage sales going on at this time. So it makes it really hard to get like a stupid good deal. But my wife did text me uh, a couple weeks ago and she's like, hey, check this out. So it was eight Ninja Turtles and the lady was asking $5. So let's go check these out. All right guys, so I just made a neighborhood pickup. I got eight TMNT figures for $5. That's right, $5 towards the action figure challenge. So I'm gonna show you what we got here in a second. So five bucks, this is what we got. So a quick look, they are all the newer figures. So you got, you got Dog Pound right here. You got, we got Shredder and his action still works. And then we got four, all four of the turtles. So we got Mikey, we got Donnie. Oh, he looks pissed off, doesn't he? Um, we got Raph. And what's cool, I don't have any of these. So very cool, and Leo. So for like 62 cents a piece, that is not a bad grab. So always keep an eye 
on your uh, local Facebook like neighborhood websites because you never know. So this was actually a really cool pickup. Uh, five bucks for eight turtles. I'll do that all day long. Now, some of these are newer, but these four Mystic Turtles, I actually do not have in my collection. And these guys in this condition range anywhere between 10 to $15. So all in, there's probably like a $65 profit, but I'm going to keep uh, these four Mystic Turtles because I don't have them. So that is added to the TMNT collection. The rest I'll probably just end up selling on whatnot or whatever. But great pickup. Like I, I always say, never pass up a, a turtle for a dollar. And I think these came out to like, what, 62, 63 cents a piece. So all day long, let's do it. So this next pickup is pretty freaking crazy. This actually happened, I wanna say like the early part of December. I've never seen one of these in a while, much less two. Let's get into this story on how this happened. So I was sitting at my son's soccer game, uh, Turtle Chris, he sends me a text. He was like, hey, this is, these guys are asking 20, I think it was $26 for it. I was like, yeah, dude, I'll send you the money. Here's the money, pick it up for me. So I got one of these Rise of the TMNT sewer play sets and I was through the roof because even in this condition, this one is missing quite a few pieces. I mean, this is still like maybe like a hundred dollar piece, maybe, maybe more just depending. Uh, so I was freaking ecstatic. I was like, heck yes. Um, very, very excited about this pickup. And I kid you not the very next day, another buddy, he is at, I, I believe he's at his local Goodwill. And he was like, dude, you probably don't want this, but they're asking $10 for it. Here's a clip. So guys, I'm through the roof. Like this playset right here is missing one piece, but the other playset that I got from Turtle Chris has that piece. So I now have a complete uh, Rise of the TMNT sewer playset. And this was 10 freaking dollars, guys. $10. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep the complete one. I'm going to sell the other one for parts. I'm getting stuff for my personal collection instantly. And I'm also gonna make a little bit of money off of this. So all of that will be added to the action figure challenge bucket. So with what we spent today, this is what's remaining in the action figure challenge bucket. I'm super excited because now I have a sewer playset and I have these myth mystic turtles that I was not expecting to find out in the wild were 62 cents a piece. I am through the roof at this point. Um, so yeah, guys, like I say in all these videos, if I can do it, you can easily do it as well. Uh, and this was over a span of a month. Like I said, I was on vacation. I broke my freaking tailbone. Like I've been uh, MIA from the action figure challenge for a minute. So deals are out there. Just keep your eyes open. Uh, you never know what something's gonna be valued at. So always pay attention and uh, lean on your friends too, because uh, if it wasn't for Turtle Chris and Mr. January, then uh, none of this would have happened. So very good. And my awesome wife, my awesome wife found those turtles. So actually none of this stuff I actually found, it's just people looking out for, for, for me and I look out for them as well. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I know it was super short, but like I said, there's not much going on in the action figure challenge world right now. If you're a turtle fan, would you have kept all of the turtles and both of the play sets? Or would you have sold off what you didn't need and uh, kept what you wanted? Some people like to sell it all and make that money. Some, you know, would like to put it back into their collection. So I'm kind of doing half of that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And then until next time, peace. What's going on guys and welcome to the action figure challenge number six. Not another veteran channel. 
I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a action figure challenge, but it is not always easy to find amazing deals in the wild. So in this video, we hit up a thrift store, we hit up a antique mall, and a crazy, and I mean a crazy garage sale. In the last episode of the action figure challenge, we had $204 left in our bucket. So we're gonna take this with us and see what kind of deals that we can get. Before we get into today's video, we do have a sponsor from the great people over at Boxu. So let's check it out. All right guys, so today we have a special sponsorship video by the great folks over at Boxu. And I have the two kids with me and they're gonna help me taste test a couple of these snacks and let you guys know what we think about them. So let's check it out. Okay, let's open up this box. I think it opens by this. I yeah. think so. Yeah, Before I open it, check that out. Very nice format, very nice presentation. You open up the box and you have a little, little manual also. So this is the March box. Limited edition, guys, limited edition. Marshmallows, ooh, look at those. Check that out. I think I'm gonna try the marshmallows. What is this? This is a type of like sweet bread, I believe. Peach gummies. So that's peach gummies here. You gonna try one? Yeah. Okay. What is that? Gummy. Yummy. Is it good? Yeah. Wow. That smells really, really good. So check that out. Chocolate. Basically chocolate covered marshmallows. I want to taste. Mm. I think. That is, that's really good. Very good. Mm. Oh, what is that? I don't know. I'm gonna have a piece of this. I'm gonna try. You just, mm. I'll mm. That's really good. All right guys, so what did you think of the snacks? It was really good. Really, really good? Really good. Like really, really good? Are these like better than like Doritos? Yeah, better than barbecue chips. Better than barbecue chips, I'll take that. So guys, remember use my code Retro Channel in the link down below and you will receive 10% off your subscription from Boxu. Boxu, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. So it looks like we got a new booth here. Some masters of the WWE. Got some wrestlers back there. What is that, Burger King, Max Steel? All sorts of figures, guys. It is loaded. G.I. Joe Ninja Force, Bushido, Moose, Skylanders. Ooh, that looks like a mutation to, uh, for parts for three bucks. Interesting. Found this Mighty Ducks figure for eight bucks. He's in pretty good condition. I think I'll definitely pick him up. Pergonis is destroying the city. Here comes the hockey play and Mighty Ducks to save the day. Oh, Mighty Ducks! Wildwing skates in and joins Grin and Duke LaRange as they stop the evil Lord Pergonis from destroying the world. Oh, Mighty Ducks! Go! Wildwing fires his puck. Duke throws his grappling hook and swings into action. 
grim feeds in with a super crunch. No! And here comes the duck cycle, firing pucks to finish off Dragana. Duck rock! The new Mighty Ducks figures and duck cycle sold separately. Duck cycle coming. I found this NECA Back to the Future. Uh, Doc Brown, I believe. Look at that. He is. Looks like he's complete. Let's take a better look. Yeah, he is complete. And he is. He's sealed. He is sealed for 15 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. What is that? Turtle Van, Party Wagon, 1989. Something. Let me put this stuff down and take a look at this. Looks like a, uh, what is this, a bank? I don't know, but that's pretty cool. It is vintage. I don't know, but I must have it. And we got some of those NECA Back to the Future. My Toonie Terror type figures right there. We got some pops and some Hot Wheels, it looks like. More Hot Wheels, more pops. Over here, we got some Mortal Kombat. We got a Cabal for 15. Then we got an Attack for 17.99. That's really not that bad, guys. He is sealed, brand new. Not a bad deal. Then we have a. Uh, we got a studio series, we got a jazz, we got a hoist. Then we got some Marvel Legends up here. $15.99 for Mr. Fantastic. Not bad. Fantastic price. Alright guys, so we're at Target. I'm a little late to the uh, holothon. But I thought I'd check it out anyway. I know that the figures for Holothon are in the toy section, but I'm just taking a look at what they have real quick. There's a dirt bag. Halloween Kills, Back to the Future, Wolfman, and Mummy. There's Mummy. And then we got Creep Show, and then we got the Frog Brothers right there. And then we got a Fig Log. They Log? They Log. That's it. That's his name. And then we got the Gunslinger spawn, which is pretty sick. That's a cool looking figure right there. There's a Barney right there. Yeah. Oh, look, look, look up there. There's some up there, buddy. Oh, look, this is the paper. Freddy Fazbear. Alright guys, so as you can see, I got the Turtles 1UP Arcade um, with the stand and what's cool, I already have the stool I picked up on clearance a while back at Walmart. So this was only $100 for the entire thing, but check out this bin. I got all for $20 for the entire bin. So it's the Simpsons Interactive Playset. And then I got, I don't know, this reaction I believe. We got some Mario Kart, um, some FNAF. What, what's really cool, I believe the entire um, Moe's Tavern playset is in here. So we got, we got Barney, as you can see. 
Um, and there's the plant too. That's too cool. There's some DuckTales figures in there. Uh, what else do we got? Yeah, Moe's Tavern. That's so cool. And then we got, what is this one? Oh, um, yeah, this is, what's this thing? Uh, comic, comic book guy, yeah. But look at all of the figures. Check this out. I'm gonna have to get with Boss and Mike because I don't know the rarity on these and he's a huge Simpsons fan, so I'm gonna have to get with him and see what he says, but look at all of that. Very cool. As you can see, guys, we got some crazy deals today. We started off at Goodwill. We picked up that Masterverse Tila. We got her for $6 out of the door. Next, we hit the Antique Mall where we saw that uh, Mighty Ducks figure, which I picked up for $8. And also, we picked up the NECA uh, Back to the Future Doc Brown figure for $15. And last but not least, the garage sale. We had some crazy luck. We ended up picking up all of that Simpson stuff that was in that entire tote. And also, we got a freaking arcade, an arcade. I got that for $100. That is actually gonna stay here in my collection because I've been patiently waiting to find a good deal on that. But I've been playing it a lot and it's been a lot of fun. We also got this Hawkeye figure. This is the retro Marvel Legends style that was inside the box. And then also this reaction Invisible Man figure. And it was all included in. So guys, always, always check out Garage Sale, especially this time of year. There was also a local toy show going on this past weekend that I could have went to. It was no joke, 10 miles from my house and it was free admission. So I rolled the dice and hit garage sales instead of going to that toy show, and I am glad I did. So guys, always check out garage sales for some crazy deals. You never know what you're gonna find. So guys, that will do it for this video. This is what we have left in the action figure challenge bucket. I really hope to hit some more garage sales and get lucky like I did this past weekend. Until next time, peace. What's going on guys and welcome back to the action figure challenge. Not another retro channel. That's right, we are back doing the action figure challenge series. It's been a while. Life this past year was kind of crazy. We made a movie. Um, the attic invaders were busy invading attics, so I thought, what a way to end the year by bringing back the action figure challenge. If you're new to the channel and you haven't watched any of these uh, challenges, I'm going to put the links to those videos down below, so check those out. The point of the action figure challenge is for me to find things in the wild to resell in order to purchase the remaining vintage team and T figures I need for my collection. Another really cool thing about this challenge is that you guys can take what I do and apply it to whatever you need. If that's uh, making extra money, if that's to fill your collection like I am doing, take note and join along. So when we left off last, like I said, it's been about a year. So this is what's in our challenge bucket. We're gonna hit a couple of thrift stores and hopefully we can find some stuff to sell in order to get some of these remaining Ninja Turtle figures that I need for my collection. The first stop we take is at a Goodwill, so fingers crossed that we find something good. All right, so over here we got a PS2 game. We got ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Let's check it out inside to see. It's in there with the manual. Let's check out the um, 
the disc shape. And then we'll check out on a price on this to see. Yeah, it's not bad, not too scratched. We're gonna have to pass on this. This is like maybe a $6 game complete. I think they're what, three or $4 here at Goodwill. It's Michael Jackson, this is it. But it's all these two games. You got Infinity and you got Just Dance 3, which I think are three or four bucks a piece. So nothing crazy there. I saw these Fantastic Four 1978 cartoons. So this is this one and this two. I've never seen these. They look bootleg, but I want to look into it. Over here, I found a slew of games. We got uh, <laughs> nothing, probably anything great. High School Musical, We Fit, You Drill, Studio, got Cars, My Nation, Racers on PS3. I'm looking for that one. We got NHL 13, Pro Fishing, Dancing with the Stars. I love there is GameCube. Hopefully the desk is of course not inside there. Gosh, that would have been good. That would have been a good hit. Did you have this Jamie like us a um, statue right here for three bucks? That might be a pickup. I think it sells around 15 to 20. But it seems to be in pretty good condition. <laughs> So, I'm not going to pick it up. They did have Mortal Kombat 1 and Annihilation on DVD. Kind of cool. Little, give me a little nostalgia. A little nostalgia shot right there. I really wish that they had the disc for the Tony Hawk 3 game on the GameCube because that's easily a $15 to $20 game. I even checked the other cases surrounding that game and it was nowhere to be found. So, um, if you're out there and you find a game without a disc, make sure you check the other game cases because you never know. It could be in a separate case, it, you know, um, it could be in a DVD case, but I wasn't about to go through all these freaking DVDs for a $15 to $20 game. So now we are headed to a couple of my favorite thrift stores. So fingers crossed, one more time, let's see what we can find. All right, so I did find this creature, Walks Among Us from Sideshow from 2000, it's $8. I think it sells around 20, plus there's a 10% uh, off sale here. So this might be a pickup. I did find this Biker Mice from Mars, uh, Fred the Mutant, and his action still works. They're asking $10, 10% off. Uh, this might be a pickup. I did find that Biker Mice from Mars. So this is Mutant, or Fred the Mutant, and his action still works. Check that out. So this was made by Galoob back in the early 90s. Um, they had 10% off of this guy, so I got them a little under $10. And this sells for 20 to 25, just depending on the time, I guess, but not a bad pickup. So we got Biker Mice from Mars, Fred the Mutant. We are now headed to another local thrift store. I always forget about this one, but I've always had some pretty good luck at it, so let's check it out. I mean, here's 50% off. Got some Skylanders, so this would be like a dollar. Got a Transformer here for $2, that would be a dollar. Don't know if that's complete, but I may take the risk. I found this big Yoshi plush, 450 branded. So that'll be like 225. I think I'm definitely gonna pick this dude up. Look at this. Freaking Ninja Turtle clock. Wow. It's not a price on it, but it's got the cord. It's freaking Leonardo. And I've never seen that, so definite pickup right there. All right, so they had 50% off of the entire store, which is amazing. I looked through all the games. Um, there was titles like Wii Fit and uh, Wii Ski and stuff like that. So nothing that would have really made a difference, but I did find this 20 inch uh, Yoshi plushie in very good condition. He sells anywhere between 20 to $30, which is a great pickup. And I got him for $2.25. Next, as you saw, we found that Ninja Turtle uh, 2004 alarm clock. 
and I checked it out and it works and functions. There was not a price tag on this, but this ended up being only $1.50 with 50% off of that. So I think this is a, a heck of a find. If not, it, it's one of the cooler finds that I've found in a while because 2004 TMNT like clocks, I love the series and I love um, little things like this. So I think this sells anywhere between $15 to $25 but I think I'm gonna keep this because it's such a cool piece and it works too. Not like I'm gonna use it for an alarm clock, but uh, cool piece nonetheless. So 2004 Mirage Team NT alarm clock. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video, and make sure you check out all of my other adventures from the Action Figure Challenge down below. And hopefully I can do two or three of these a month uh, just depending what I find. So guys, let me know down below what are some of the best pickups you found um, here recently at a really good deal. And uh, I would love to hear it. So until next time, peace. What's going on guys and welcome back to the action figure challenge. In this episode we head to the North Dallas Toy Show to see what we can find. But before we do that our great friends over at Pantasy Bricks sent us something over to take a look at. So let's check it out. So this is the Astro Boy clear version construction set. It is mechanical. It lights up and it's beautiful. Check out all of the internal details. It has 10 movable joints. The metallic finish on it looks amazing. Displayed on your shelf. The base, guys, is huge. It will definitely support your Astro Boy. I've had mine up for the past week and no problems. He looks freaking amazing. This is the 70th anniversary for Astro Boy and Pantasy is gonna give you an opportunity to get this set for 15% off. The link will be down below, and if you use my code 15NARC, you will receive 15% off of your purchase. So go hit that link, get yourself an Astro Boy, and tell them that NARC sent you. Back to the episode. All right, so first pickup of the day, I got this from Randy. $10, bootleg Leonardo, pretty cool. Um, the only other one I've seen was when we were in Chicago, but Ed scooped it up, but now I got one. The first table at the show was a hit. I was able to get this bootleg Leonardo. This is a Mexican bootleg and I got him for $10. What's cool is I have the Michelangelo version already. So I just need the two other turtles. So 10 bucks, not bad. One, um, so these yeah. just dropped? Yeah, these just came out at Walmart. What's all in the way? That way? Dude, I don't do Legends anymore. I have no idea. It's just, that's the only one. Oh. oh. It's one of the collector cards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a nice retail. Yeah. 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 I heard that's a great figure, though. The line bender? Yeah. All these classifieds. We got some 2000X. We got Mechanic, Merman, Cyclone. That's the ultimate screen for me. That's pretty nice. You should not see 2000X anymore. No. Pretty cool. I wonder how much he's got on this. What is that one? Oh, the little, the little set. How much on Scott Toy? 15. 15? Oh, that's a good price. Yeah, I'll scoop them. As you can see, I got this 2000X Fire Armor Skeletor complete on card. Very nice on card. I got it for only $15. Now this guy, 
goes anywhere between 40 to 45 dollars just depending so i think i got a freaking steal got yeah, some superpowers some secret wars dr fake out there let's see how clean he is i can't remember if dave's looking for that or not dr fake yeah he's got his armor Usually he's missing that. Uh huh. The Wolverine's always missing that. Oh, oh. Check these out. Booty leg. Then we just got a gas chilling right here. Ooh, we got some. What's that? Filmation Ghostbusters? We went blank for a second. How much you got on your gas? Um, I have the 25. 25? What about the, these uh, Ghostbusters? The Ghostbusters, I have them at $30. 30 Yeah, 30 a piece. Gotcha. Check it out. Look at all the goodies. 1981 Scare Glow. This little monkey. Oh, yeah. Creature. How much you got on the sharks? Um, these are 90 a piece, and this one's 80 80 mm -hmm. They're in good condition. Yes, sir. Sectors. Got this map ball right here. It's pretty sick. Very cool. Got some homers. What's that? The uh, radiation homer? I can't remember. Look at all of this stuff to dig through. That Pinocchio. That's creepy. Creepy. Got a bunch of random stuff in here. Terminator. This guy. <laughs> we got some Joe's right here too. Get this little Beetlejuice can thing right here. Oh, it still works too. Mildly vile, unbelievably rude. <laughs> Uh, in here. Got a shield and sword. Hey man. Looks to be complete for 60. This uh, Rambo, maybe. Nice Transformers. See anything you need, Nate? Always. It's always. always a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a great time over at the North Dallas Toy Show. So check it out if you're in the area. It is the first Saturday of each month. Check them out. I was also hanging out with my friend Nate Simmons, and we had a lot of fun just hanging out, talking toys, and he gifted me this. So these are the items that Nate gifted me. We got an almost complete She-Ra with Swift Wind. We got a, I believe her name is Frosta? I'm not sure, I think Frosta. I know this is Glimmer, and this is Angela. So, Nate, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the She-Ra figures. Um, I definitely going to display the She-Ra and Swiftwind with some of my Motu stuff. So, thanks a lot, buddy. So Nate, thank you so much for the gift. That is very generous. So this is what we have left in the action figure challenge. In the last episode, I picked up the Fred the Mutant from Biker Mice from Mars for $10. And I was able to sell that guy for almost $15 on whatnot. Here's a little clip, but that's $5 added to our budget. So this is our new action figure challenge uh, bucket right here. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, peace.
देते हैं What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of the action figure challenge and you will not believe what I came up with this past week so we're going to share that all with you guys right now. I had a viewer reach out to me and he's local he said that he dug out some old vintage toys from his parents house that he had when he was a kid and it was mostly G.I. Joe and vintage Star Wars. We have some Rambo by Coleco, some DC superheroes, and a bunch of other stuff. But before we get into this, our total in the last episode was this. We sold a few things, and now we are sitting at $96. I wasn't able to film uh, when I picked this up because I was a little overwhelmed by all the vintage Star Wars he had, all the vintage G.I. Joes, Rambos, and I was just really just into the moment and um yeah guys it, it's quite a bit and there's also some pretty rare variants in this uh vintage star wars stuff so let's get to it all right starting off we have this vintage r2d2 this is with the scope as you can see right there his paint is definitely not on his dome but i believe a piece like this can easily go around 25 bucks. R2-D2 with the scope intact. Nice little gem right there. And then moving on to his partner, we got a 80, was this 83 uh, C-3PO. And what's interesting about this piece is this is the one that detaches. So this came from the uh, Return of the Jedi. Long ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the Star Wars saga began, and Kenner continues the excitement. Chewbacca? Arr! It's C-3PO that you can take apart, and other action figures each sold separately. When that came out, and he is all complete, so again, I, I believe this piece right here goes around $25. And then some of the more common figures, we got a... Uh, soldier right here very good paint so we got him I think this is a pretty common like five dollar figure but still very cool in great condition and then we got a uh, Lando Calrissian right here but this is the one with the painted uh, pupils and his teeth which is a, a variant from what I understand I, I believe he goes around 10 and then we got one of the wing pilots right here he is one of the more common ones as well. The, I believe it's the A-Wing pilot from the last 17. That is the juicy one, but this is just the standard uh, B-Wing. And then we have a Jedi Luke right here. He has a little paint rub on his nose, but still a, a pretty juicy figure in this condition without his robe and lightsaber. I believe he goes around 15 to 20 bucks. And then we have one of the uh, guards right here. He has his cloak intact, uh, no staff, but uh, with his coat intact and no tears or rips, I believe this guy's around 20 bucks. And then we have a very nice 77 um, gray beard, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He does not have his lightsaber right there. Uh, no rips in his cape which is, uh, they're usually always ripped or torn or something like that. And I believe the gray beard, like I said, is a some sort of a variant. And I believe this guy goes around 20 bucks. Another one from 1977 is we got Vader. And once again, uh, same with this guy, his cape is not torn or ripped and he does not have his saber as well. And I believe in this condition, this is like a $20 piece. And then we got a couple of the uh, indoor figures. We got indoor Han and we got indoor Leia. They do not have their, their capes or their hoodies, but still alone, I believe these are about 15 a piece, not bad. And then moving on to some Ewoks, we have, I believe this is Lamont right here, but he has his hood 
and he's in really good condition. I, I believe this is like a $25 piece. Uh, very, very, very good condition. And what's cool about this piece is uh, this is a Lily Letty. So how you know if you got a variant down there, um, it should have the country of origin, which this does not. So uh, Letty's were made in Mexico from what I understand. So this is a little more obscure uncommon piece. And then we have a last 17 Ewok right here. So check this guy out. He has his hood, he has his satchel. Um, and this is Warrock, I believe. I'm gonna correct myself down below because I believe I butchered his name, but this is a last 17 piece. Very crazy. Um, the seller did know what uh, he had with this one. So I definitely paid up compared to everything else. For this one but i believe this piece goes for around 125 dollars very cool lately i've been coming upon last 17 figures uh, especially this past year it's been crazy i think uh this is like the fifth or sixth one that i've gotten and just very cool because of the rarity and that he has his little pack and his hood now let's talk about this piece right here so check out this yoda he is missing his cane but when i took him out of the the case because everything came in that c3po case i was like hmm that snake is brown that's definitely a variant and for a second for one second i thought it was also a a letty a variant from mexico so this one is just actually the hong kong brown snake version which is still a pretty juicy piece um, without his cane i think he goes anywhere between like 80 and 90 dollars and also to note this yoda variant has what they call the pac-man eyes because his pupils look like a uh, pac-man so that is all the vintage star wars that was in this case um Boss and Mike came over this past weekend, and if you know Boss and Mike, he loves G.I. Joe's, so he came over, he repaired the Joe's for me, and then he was like, hey, you know what? I really want all these Joe's. He made me an offer, I accepted, and it was $150. He paid for all the G.I. Joe's. I know the value is uh, way more than that. I hooked it up for Mike big time just because like that's what friends do for each other and I paid way less than that for this entire lot so Mike thanks buddy. But some of the Joes to note that was in this lot we had a Cobra Commander, we had a Destro, we had a Serpentor um, and some of the other drivers that are kind of hard to find so definitely some cool finds with those GI Joes. Then moving on, we're going to move into Rambo because with this lot, there was also Coleco Rambo figures and none of them were 100% complete, but they had most of their weapons. So here is a General Warhawk, I believe. He's got his belt, his gun. He's got his little sword attachment thing right there. So uh, he was in this lot. We got Warhawk. And then moving on, we have this version of Rambo. Once again, he is not complete, but he is, um, he's only missing his backpack. His backpack, but this is a very, very nice conditioned Rambo. Um, and I rarely see these guys complete. And to have them, you know, most of them 99% complete is a huge win. Moving on, another Rambo figure, and I will put his name down below because for the life of me, I cannot remember. But we have this dude with his bazooka. He's got his binoculars, his um, gun, and his belt. Oop, that fell. But yeah, also got this guy. Like I said, he's only missing uh, one other gun, I believe. I believe it's a uh, silver AK, if I remember correctly. And last but not least for Rambo, we have this guy right here. He has his backpack, he's got his clip, he's got three guns with him, and also his knife. 
I believe he's only missing one piece as well. So very cool to see these Coleco Rambo figures mostly completed. Also, there was some real Ghostbusters stuff. So we got a complete uh, Fright Features Ray. Check him out right there. He's got his ghost, his grabber, and his action works perfectly. So Fright Features Ray. And then sticking with Fright Features, we got Egon, the one that uh, <laughs> his tie is always freaking broken. It's always freaking broken. But we got Egon with Ray, and I believe both of these pieces go anywhere between $20 to $25 a piece. And then, like I said, we have some DC superheroes. So we got Batman, we got 89 Batman right there with his cape, very nice condition. And then we also have 89 Joker. Uh, he has his hat, he's got his water squirter right there. He's just missing. Um, the water pump so that's kind of more uncommon to find with all of these pieces i know carded you can probably get them for like 25 30 bucks but still cool to see loose all right so now that i've shown you everything i got i know you guys are wondering how much did you pay for this stuff so i paid a total a grand total of all this vintage stuff 90 dollars 90 dollars and as I've been going through this, um, as you know, I already sold the G.I. Joe's to Mike. So that was $150 right off the bat. The vintage Star Wars figures, I'm kind of thinking that it's going to be anywhere between like 300 and 350 when they sell. Uh, the Rambo figures, the real Ghostbusters, the DC superheroes. Uh, I'm going to have those in a whatnot auction uh, here pretty soon, and we'll see what they go for. So like I said, uh, we had $96 to start off with, and with what Boston Mike has already purchased, we are now at this number for the action figure challenge. So guys, that will do it. Let me know down below which one of these vintage pieces is your favorite and why. I would love to hear from you guys. And until next time, peace.